Hey, remember this guy, Michael DeSanta? Well, it's quite possible that he could be making his way to GTA 5 Online this summer. Keep watching this video and I'll explain why. What's up guys, Oddman105 here, and this is a short speculation slash talking head video governing the upcoming summer DLC for GTA 5 Online. Now, it's been all but confirmed that we will be receiving a DLC for GTA 5 Online expected to be released sometime around mid to late July of this year. However, the content regarding the upcoming summer DLC remains a mystery. Let me preface this video by stating that until either Rockstar or Take-Two Interactive releases any information governing the upcoming summer DLC, then everything that I'm about to convey to you should be considered as rumor. Now, if you're new to my channel, then make sure that you're subscribed to stay up to date on the latest and greatest That's GTA 5 Online. Click the bell icon for future notifications, leave a like or two, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. Now, speaking of Twitter, our resident leaker, Tez Fun 2, who is the expert on all things Rockstar related, posted a tweet on June 3rd stating, and I quote, In addition to the movie references from Vespucci Job Remix, Roll School 2282 found out Rockstar added a new scenario spawn point on GTA 5, PS5, and Xbox Series XS in front of Record A Studios with movie set as the assigned ped model set. A hint at a movie DLC with Michael? Question mark. So, what could this potentially mean? Moreover, Tez Fund also retweeted a post from Ned Luke himself, the voice actor of Michael DeSanta, who, on June 8th, posted a clip from VG247.com about the potential of an upcoming DLC, stating, quote, It looks like GTA 5's Michael might be coming to GTA Online. A new NPC has been mysteriously added to GTA Online, leading to speculation about a movie-focused update coming in the future. Now, in response to Tez Fun's retweet, Ned Luke posted on June 8th, quote, What does this guy really know? Or any other dude? Nada. Just add might be and say whatever the hell you want. Does might be make bullshit reality? It's a mystery. Or it isn't. The answer is not the answer. Or is it? Unknowing is knowing. End quote. So there's a great deal of plausible deniability going on here, especially in the Twitterverse with regards to the upcoming summer DLC. Now, to be fair, Ned Luke didn't verify or leak anything that could potentially expose the upcoming DLC to unnecessary and unwanted media scrutiny, but he also didn't deny any of it as well. So here are my thoughts and speculations on what we're looking at. So, I think that we'll absolutely be getting a movie-themed DLC starring Michael DeSanta, and I also believe that that DLC will be directly linked to the contract DLC that we recently received this past December. Now, the reason for that is simple. During the Dr. Dre contract setup mission, Franklin references Michael DeSanta not by name, but as the producer who works at the studio, you know, as they were driving through the studio back lot in golf carts. Now, if Rockstar could link a movie-themed DLC with Michael with the contract DLC starring Franklin together, putting those two together would be another absolute home run for GTA 5 and for Rockstar, in my opinion. That's if Rockstar doesn't screw it up. Now, with every DLC that's been released in GTA Online uh, to this date, we've gotten some kind of a property with new garage spaces, etc., interiors that we could purchase. I believe that we're going to be able to purchase a studio property at Majestic Studios as part of this DLC. Now, we know that uh, Solomon's office is a rendered interior in GTA Online. All Rockstar needs to do is make that interior accessible to all players once we purchase it. And I estimate that the studio interior, fully customized with all parking and everything else needed to complete the DLC, is going to be between somewhere around four to six million dollars in game. That estimate is, of course, based on the total cost of past properties and previous DLCs. 
So with all of that being said, here are my concerns with the potential of this upcoming movie-themed DLC. We know that the files that were data mined uh, were specifically addressed in the next-gen consoles, the Xbox Series XS and the PlayStation 5. We also know that this NPC character is only visible on next-gen consoles. So it is quite possible, however unlikely, that Rockstar would further fracture the, the player base by monetizing this summer's DLC content by making it exclusive to only next-gen console players and GTA Plus members. We know that Rockstar as a publisher and Take-Two Interactive as a developer are both greedy companies. And I'm just going to come out and say it. If they decide to make this summer's DLC content exclusive and not available to old gen and PC players, I'm done with GTA Online. I'm done playing it. I'm going to move on to something else. However, I also believe that Rockstar won't go that far. Reason being is because... PC players and old-gen console players make up more than half of the GTA Online player base, and Rockstar won't further alienate the player base more so than it already has. In addition to that, remember that during a background update over a month ago, Rockstar released the next-gen game folders on PC. Those game folders exist in the PC files right now, so we could be seeing the uh, expanded and enhanced edition of GTA being released on the PC here within the next couple of weeks. But these are just my thoughts and speculations on the upcoming summer DLC. I want to know what you guys think about it, and I want to know what you guys will do if, if Rockstar decides to monetize the upcoming summer DLC and make it an exclusive content only to next-gen players. So sound off down in the comments below. Let's have a respectful conversation about this. And as always, guys, keep up the faith. I've been Oddman105, a.k.a. The Odd One, bringing you one more speculation video. If you guys found this informative, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a like or two, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe, keep bringing that smoke, and take care out there.